All right, guys, I wanted to make just a quick video because I got to do some maintenance on my cameras, but I thought this would like help the self-filming or guys getting into the filming crowd. And uh, that would be these little screen protectors. They're, you know, a couple dollars from Amazon, but you simply uh, wipe down your screen here and go ahead and install it on the back. And what it does is it protects it from, from cracking or breaking. And with these Sony cameras, like there is no like flip over screen like some of the Canons. And this is something that when I started filming, nobody was talking about, nobody showed me. I, I think I learned about it either on a podcast or from a buddy. The other thing I would, I would tell people that, that I think is oh, second tier information for a guy getting interested in filming. The other item I would recommend buying are these clear UV filters that simply screw into your front of the lens and it protects it from any sort of dings or, or, or anything like that. But it will save you a several hundred dollar, maybe even thousand dollar repair bill or have to replace a lens. You know, if you take a stick to it or drop this camera, that clear filter, a couple dollars, saves you a lot of money, especially, you know, with hunting, with filming gear, it, it, you're hard on that equipment. So those are two just real quick things that I wish I would have known years back that maybe can save you a, a future headache, if you will. Um, to get the right size of your lens cover, punch that in when you Google search it or call the camera store. But a lot of times on your lenses, it'll say this is a, you know, blah, 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 millimeter lens, uh, you know, 24 to 70 by, oh, uh, I think the one I'm recording on is like 60 some millimeters. But you know, that way you can get the right size, screw it on and, and go from there. And the same thing for these uh, screen protector guys, wherever I put that right here, that go on the back is you'll punch into Google or the camera store you're buying from, hey, I need a screen protector for a Sony RX10 or a uh, A7 III. Uh, just a real quick tip for the self-filming crowd that I think, you know, I can dumb it down and give you guys good information. I would also do this if I had a camcorder of some sort, uh, just because, you know, you don't want to have to replace that lens or that screen because that's an expensive bill when these are like a couple bucks. Thanks for watching.